walk-in closet. Oh, what? Come here. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh, this is the size of some New York City apartments. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone and welcome back to the next vlog in this two-part adventure. So if you missed it, um, first we went to Savannah for two days and I will pop an eye bar up on the screen so you can take a look at that video because it will go live before this one does. And now we are in Charleston, South Carolina. We just got to our hotel. We were staying at the Francis Marion in historic King Street and we apparently have a walk-in closet which is great. And I'll give you a quick little pan of our room. It's got two beds there, bathroom back there. TV, desk, whole situation. So we took a bus from Savannah to Charleston. It's about two hours and 20 bucks about. Uh, definitely would recommend it if you're looking to hit both of these cities at one time. Uh, it was super easy to get back and forth. And now we are off to explore the city and we'll bring you along with us. So we just got to more of the downtown area and we found where we're going for breakfast. It's called Toast. This is the biscuit that Alexa was given. Let's compare it to her head. Oh. It's a pretty, yeah. All right guys, we made it to Charleston's Rainbow Row, which is definitely more iconic than the Savannah one. Got some green, got some pink, got some blue, everything. Here's a little across the street view for you guys. It's honestly so gorgeous. Pro travel tip guys, if Rainbow Row is too crowded or you're not that into it, definitely walk down Trad Street. It's just right next to Rainbow Row. So many fewer people and just as beautiful buildings. Also, there's a lot of mosquitoes here apparently because we both just got attacked. Yeah, so. apparently, so be Bring warned. Your after bite. Bring your after bite. You will not regret it. All right guys, so this is my current situation. Insane, right? So this is the Calhoun house and this guy Calhoun was a apparently very meticulous antiques collector and this recommendation comes to us from Alexa's parents who did this tour and loved it. Um, I can't bring any camera or anything inside so I will pop back on here after and let you know how it is and it was 17 a person for the tour. It is so mosquito-y here that we need to coat ourselves in bug spray. And this place literally has cans of it laying around so that we can prevent ourselves from getting bitten, which is happening right now. So we just finished the tour of Calhoun House. Absolutely incredible. That place was stacked with like every like type of art and furniture and sculpture and whatever. So if you're interested in history or art or any of that, totally, totally worth it. What? Objects. And decorative objects, yes. Uh, it's a little breezy right now. I'm right by the waterfront. Totally gorgeous. Um, and now we are just kind of walking around, and I think we'll probably grab some food in a little bit. We found the pineapple fountain. Isn't that pretty? Just got here to City Market. It's gonna go in. Lots of local vendors. So Alexa appears to be looking at some shoes, and I'm over here in <laughs> the Christmas section seeing if there's anything good for my mom here. Now, if you guys know my mom at all, or if you actually watched last year's Vlogmas, you'll know that Christmas is like a big deal for us. And as such, like the ornaments on her trees have very high criteria of like what makes them worthy of the tree basically. So I'm trying to be very selective here. I'm not seeing anything jumping out at me. So I might just end up passing on this. All right, hello again. My camera battery died when we were at City Market, but Alexa and I both bought some stuff. Um, I bought, no, I just threw it in my bag, but I will show you later. Um, but I bought one of those basically like 
little leather uh, card holders because sometimes I go out and I just don't want to bring my whole wallet with me. I've been meaning to get one forever since I didn't buy the one from Liberty London when I was in London, so that's what I've been doing. And what did you buy? I bought some wedges that are like tan colored and they're strappy and like cork. Yeah, they're so cute, but she's shipping them home. And what else did you get? I got sunglasses, cause mine broke. Mine were, yes. Austin's like, um, are I you I thought she had something bruised? on her face and it was like a bruise from her. From the sunglasses, sunglasses, cause the pads fell off in the corner of my eyes. So those can't be worn anymore. <laughs> no, definitely not. Anyway, so we are off to check out Uptown Social, which is a rooftop here in Charleston. Um, I'm obviously dressed for the occasion. And then we are going to get some barbecue. So bring you along with us. and some sweet tea. Alexa, I think her bloodstream is just sweet tea at this point. <laughs> it's a lot, it's way too sweet for me. But how cute is this place? So the frosé here was $7, which is like a bargain in New York, but as far as South Carolina goes, I'm in search of more bargains, so I'll see if I can find something better. I literally stopped Alexa in the middle of walking to dinner on this gorgeous street because I thought this was a good background for her dress. So I'm gonna take some pics of her. Just arrived at our dinner spot, Queology. Don't know if I'm saying that right, but apparently they have good barbecue. like a kind of southern regional chain of ice cream. Really, really good. Went for that salted caramel life. So good. We're back in our hotel room, had the best dinner and dessert. That was so good and I am exhausted because we took a 6.30 a.m. bus here. So I'm gonna go to sleep and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. We are still in Charleston. Um, I just got a free coffee from my hotel, which I am probably hyping up too much, but I just love free things, so what can you say? So basically, this morning, we are walking right now to Blazed, right? Blazed? I think so. Blazed Donuts here on King Street. We are going to pick up some donuts, and then we are going to go visit Boone Hall, which is one of the plantations right outside the city of Charleston. We figured while we're in these two towns, we might as well check out some of the historical components to it, um, and I will bring you along with us, and we'll see how it is. Got to Boone Plantation. It is gorgeous here. Also, I just found out Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds got married here. <sighs> Fun, like, fact, I guess. <laughs> I'm like so distracted by that fact that I can't even talk right now. How you feeling, Lex? It's pretty beautiful here. Yeah, let me turn you guys around to see where we're walking right now. This house up here. So when you buy your ticket, which was $24, you get to do a house tour. You can also walk down Slave Street and do a Black History in America tour. They have people who do talks every like 10 minutes. You can do a wagon ride, um, you can do the gardens and stuff. They so have a little show, I think. You can kind of do as much or as little here as you want. If you want like your full money's worth, definitely plan on spending a couple hours here. If you just kind of want to do the house tour and walk around, I think you can do everything in about an hour.
guys, we just finished our 30 minute tour of Boone House. It was awesome. Um, our tour guide, Amy, was very informative, so thank you to her. And now we are going to walk down Sleeve Street. It looks like they have little exhibitions in each of the houses that Sleeves used to live in here um, that are kind of like Black History in America focused. So we just finished our self-guided tour of the Sleeve Street back here. These are houses where Sleeves used to live. I feel like this was very like sobering, especially for me. I grew up in New Jersey and we obviously read about all of this and to see it now is just a reminder of the darker parts of American history and it's just proof that we've come a long way and we've got oh, still a long way to go. So just something to keep in mind. I'm really glad we got to come here and see this because I've never seen anything like this before. and. It's always good to keep learning and keep trying to improve and just be better and keep moving forward. All right, so we are back in the downtown of Charleston from our plantation visit, and we have actually checked out of our hotel, although we don't have to leave for the airport until four, so we're just taking the opportunity to stroll around, explore King Street. There's a lot of good shopping around here, so definitely hit that up if you're in Charleston. And we're going to grab lunch at Miller's All Day, which was recommended to me, I think by a few different people, also on a few blogs, so heading there now. cute shops in Charleston and I asked Alexa if we could come into Forever 21. Guys, this is the cleanest, quietest Forever 21 I've ever been in. It doesn't even look like it. Like there's no one around me. <laughs> All right guys, so we're at the Charleston airport. Um, Sally's mom actually drove us here, so quick shout out. Thank you to Sally's mom, that was really amazing. Um, and we are just waiting for our flights and I was going to upload some of my vlog footage to start editing and I realized I did not end this one. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thanks for coming with me, Lex. Yay! Fun trip, <laughs> girls trip. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're not already, please subscribe. I put out a new video every Wednesday. Lots of new travel stuff coming up for you, hopefully in the future. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.